So let's look now at the uh, case of a batch reactor with simple second order kinetics. So as usual, we're considering a stirred tank reactor which has a volume V in meters cubed and a concentration of uh, a starting material A uh, which is expressed as CA and that's in moles per meter cubed. Now the uh, rate equation which or the, the equation which describes batch reactor um, has previously been derived to be RA equals DCA by DT, where RA is the reaction rate uh, of our starting component A. And in this case, we're saying we've got second order kinetics. So we've got the RA is equal to minus K times CA squared. And it's, it's minus because A is being consumed. Uh, and it's the, the simplest second order case where, where the rate depends on the starting material uh, A, uh, its concentration squared. And we've got in there a second order kinetic rate constant. And because it's second order, and we know that it has units of moles per cubic meter per second. And if we substitute that in our top equation here, we get that minus KCA squared is equal to DCA by DT. Now, in order to integrate that, we're going to have to assume that k is constant. So there's just uh, one assumption to, to add to those that were previously made um, in the derivation of this equation. So the additional assumption is that we've got constant temperature, and that just means then that because we've got constant temperature, our K is constant. Or at least we're assuming that the, the variations in temperature are sufficiently small so that K can be a, uh, is, is very close to being constant. And that allows us then to do the integration. So we take the DT over there, and we take the CA squared over here, and what we get is minus K times integral of dt from 0 to our final uh, value, which we'll call t. And on this side, we've got dca over ca squared. And that's from a starting composition, which we call ca naught, to a final composition, um, ca. Uh, so that that's a straightforward uh, integration. That gives us minus k times t between the limits of naught and t. Uh, and then on the right-hand side, we've got if you integrate one over c a squared, uh, the integral of that is minus one over c a. And again, you've got to take that from limits of CA0 to CA. So that gives you minus KT is equal to minus 1 over CA minus minus 1 over CA0, so plus 1 over CA0. And you've got to watch the minus signs here, but that if you take that minus sign over there and collect the terms, what you get is that T is equal to 1 over K multiplied by 1 over CA minus 1 over CA0. 
So we, we've uh, taken that minus over there, so that becomes plus, that becomes minus. And we've got t equals 1 over k multiplied by uh, the difference of these recipro reciprocals, so the starting concentration and the final concentration. And that, that gives you the uh, required reaction time to uh, react from a starting concentration of Ca0 to uh, an end concentration of Ca.